Hello, so I'm in the uh, Sendai train station, the bullet train. So it's very loud, that's why I'm using the microphone. Well, my job is sending me over to Akita for three weeks. So that gives me around maybe like two, three days where I can actually just go on an adventure and see if I can find some fun things to do in Akita. So, you know, first it'll be a little bit of an adventure getting there. So, you know, w welcome back to the bullet train ride relocating from one place to another. That's my hotel under construction. So from that hotel that's under construction right now, I'm supposed to get this wonderful view. But unfortunately, it's under construction. Now I was gonna, you know, film a hotel tour, but it's way too loud with all the construction going on. So we'll wait till nighttime to do that. Let's get closer. So this is up close. If you see right here, there's a duck. It's my first duck sighting in Japan. <laughs> Are you ready to see the hotel now? After seeing a little bit of the outside? So we go this way. We go this way. And here we are. 4.30. So first we do tap the car. Go inside. Oh, it's dark. Gee, I wonder why. If you see here, you've got a place where you put your card in, and you can see you do. <gasps> the lights turn on. <laughs> it's time for a bit of a tour. So welcome. Right when you come in, so here's the door. You're in your bathroom. Got your sink, your utensils and stuff. You also got a door that leads. That's not the right button. That's the right button. To your toilet so we got a toilet here and just a simple shower room nice and neat simple what's up so I'm not really sure what's around here or you know like what kind of fun things there are I would show you the outside view but uh, there's construction work going on and there's a guy working there's right outside my window so I don't really <laughs> If I open it, I just have to like, you know, be like awkwardly going like, hi. But, you know, welcome to uh, Akita. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of research, see if there's like one place I can go to within my like four days off that I have. Is it four days? No, I have two days off <laughs> in my three weeks that I'm here technically. Because the other days off that I have, it's going to be me trying to figure out how to get to work or doing general things. So it is what it is. But what's good? I'm in Akita. Okay, so now the construction finally stopped outside, so let's show the room. So, as you can already tell, I've already made a mess. <laughs> but we have a little table here that I currently have a piece of t-shirt drying. Piece of t-shirt? <laughs> we also have an outlet and a bunch of buttons. Here's the bed that I already decimated. I'm gonna fix it, don't worry, I promise. And then, so here is my computer setup that I have and a TV. And so since now construction is over, let's take a peek outside. I don't know what you expected. <laughs> it's dark, but yeah, here's the saving grace. The world's largest air conditioner unit. 
That's my hand for comparison. Holy crap, that thing is huge. Why does it have to be so big and why does it have to be so weak? I don't know. <laughs> a bonus, you see I'm super refreshed now. It's because this hotel has, do I just, <laughs> this hotel has a public bath. And oh my gosh, if you are very scared of being naked in front of others, I feel very sorry for you because you know, once you get naked, you're basically everyone's equal, right? <laughs> but the public bath, oh, feels so great. So I'm happy that they put me in this, you know, tiny, tiny, very tiny hotel. Cause I got an unlimited use public bath I can go to whenever I want. And um, here's the picture, just so you get a basic glimpse. Cause you know, I couldn't bring a phone in. There's like 20, 30 people in there. I can't bring a phone in. I'll look at camera and then be like, hey guys, you okay with being recorded? No. <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time. Also, if you ever do go to a public bath in Japan, always get a milk afterwards because, you know, somehow it, it slaps. It hits different.